hey guys welcome back to a, another Easter basket ideas video so this is everything that we decided to put in the kids baskets this year I do have four children ranging in age from almost 18 almost 11 that would be my girl and then a nine-year-old boy and a four-year-old preschooler who's also a boy the way we do Easter baskets is we try to make sure that everything is even across the board which means everyone gets the same amount that does not necessarily mean that we spend the same amount on each kid for each basket, which is fine. Um, my kids are old enough to know that certain items cost a little bit more, but it's more important to them to note that everybody's being treated fairly and everybody's getting the same amount of stuff. Anyway, as far as baskets this year, I tried to keep them minimal, so I had to restrain myself. I didn't want to get a bunch of items for the baskets that I knew the kids would not need. I didn't want to spend a ton of money on things that would just eventually become clutter anyway. And then I also wanted to keep the baskets budget friendly. So I tried to be mindful of those two things when I was shopping for the kids Easter baskets this year. So anyway, I'm gonna jump right into the baskets and I'm gonna start with my oldest who is my almost 18 year old son. Okay, so my oldest son will be 18 this month which technically means he's not a kid anymore, but I still like to do an Easter basket for him. And he actually likes getting Easter baskets and he likes participating in all the fun little holiday traditions that we celebrate as a family. So it doesn't matter what your age, why wouldn't you wanna get an Easter basket? Because it's so much fun. So this is everything we're putting in his basket. To start off with what is going in all the kids' baskets this year, I like to put a toothbrush in each basket. So each of the older three kids are gonna get one of these toothbrushes. And I like these packages because they also come with the toothbrush covers, which I prefer. And then I saw these little chocolate bunnies at the supermarket and I decided these would be perfect to put in the kids' Easter baskets this year. It comes as a four pack, which is perfect because then I can split this up between all four kids. I bought this basket last year on Clarence after Easter so that I can reuse it every year for his basket and it is a tin pail bucket. Okay, so the first item I'm going to show you guys is this Marvel Pop Captain America collectible. Obviously, he's not into toys, but he does like collector's items and he's been wanting to collect the Pop Marvel items for a while. His favorite Marvel superhero is Captain America, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up for him. He is going to really, really love this. The majority of what's in his basket are mostly snacks and then a few fun treats. Okay, I saw this at Walmart and decided to go ahead and pick this up for him. This is the Nivea Men face cream, body cream, and hand cream. He's been using my Pond's face cream, so I figured it's time to get him his own. I got him a pack of the Honey Roasted Peanuts. His absolute favorite chocolate bar is Butterfingers, so I know he's gonna really love this, and he hasn't had it in a while. Like, I like to give the kids their favorite treats when it comes time for the holiday season, because it's not something they get to eat on a regular basis, so he is going to really, really enjoy this. I picked up a two pack of the chocolate cream-filled cupcakes. I'm putting a bag of tropical skittles in his basket as well again not something he would eat on a regular basis but it's easter so i'm putting this in his basket and i'm not exactly sure how much of this he will eat because he has braces and he tries to stay away from certain types of candies but he does like skittles got a pack of the white chocolate covered oreos i actually put this in his basket last year and he really really likes these i haven't bought it in a while so i think this is going to be a really nice treat for him as well he likes these TGI Friday's mozzarella sticks. I don't buy them very often because they're pretty pricey. This little bag is like $3. But again, it's Easter, so something special for him to snack on. My son loves pizza, and he also loves Pringles. So I decided to try him with these pizza-flavored Pringles to see if he likes them. And then the last two items that are going in his basket, I picked up this travel size bottle of the Old Spice body wash just to try him with that. And then to go with it, I got him a sponge. Now this is a kitchen sponge, 
but I didn't like the selection of loofahs that Walmart had and I didn't like their price. Also, every time I buy him a loofah, he never uses it. So I think this might be a better option for him. And it comes with a little handle on the back so he can like slip his hand in. So on to my almost 11 year old daughter. She will be 11 in April. So of course the baskets are not like decorated as beautiful as they will be on Easter morning when the kids go hunting for their baskets I will make sure to put some grass and make it pretty but just for the video I wanted to like put things in to see how they fit so that I can have a better idea of how I'm going to place the items so again what's going in her basket toothbrush and one of these little chocolate bunnies her basket is actually a pink plastic pail that I have had for a couple of years and I like to reuse the same baskets every year. It just saves on cost and it just seems more practical for me. So we've had these baskets for a while. I really, really like them. They're pretty flexible so they're able to fit a lot but they also aren't too big so it prevents me from overbuying. So one of the first items in her basket is a book. This is the bilingual The Little Mermaid. It's in English and Spanish and it also comes with an interactive CD. I like to put books in the kids Easter baskets every year. It's just something traditional that I like to do. Plus it gets us excited to read new books at bedtime. So the next item she's getting in her basket is a water squirter. I actually got three of these. I saw them at Walmart for like a dollar and I think this would be awesome for them to play with in the pool. I got her a lot of hair accessories. She mentioned that she needed some new headbands so I picked up a four pack. She is super into unicorns like everybody else. And so I went ahead and picked up this unicorn headband for her. And then I also picked up this bow. She really likes the JoJo bows. Um, but I thought this one was pretty similar and like a fraction of the cost. So I got her this as well. She wanted one of these travel fans back in December. And then I went on a hunt to look for them and I couldn't find them. So I finally found one. And so I'm going to throw it in her Easter basket. She's going to really like this. Back in December, she also mentioned that she wanted a pop socket for her cell phone. So I just went ahead and picked up an emoji one for her for her Easter basket. These were all impulse buys. I didn't really have them on my list of items I wanted to buy her for Easter. But these were on super clearance. They were less than 50 cents a piece. And she's a girly girl and she's really into accessories. So I went ahead and picked up three of these chokers. Two black ones, but they do have like the different colors. This is rose gold and this is like a pearl color. And then I got this um, purple one. And on the choker side, it says love. I also picked up this pack of press-on nails. She is super into things like this. And these come with the unicorns and the rainbow. So I think she's going to like this. And then the last two items in her basket are actually treat items. Besides the chocolate bunny, she'll also get a small pack of jelly beans and a Kinder Surprise egg. My kids love these and I haven't actually bought the brand Kinder Surprise in a while. So I went ahead and picked up the girl version for her for her Easter basket. And that's pretty much all the treats. You'll notice I don't go overboard on the treats and the candy for the little kids. So I think what I got them is more than enough for them to enjoy on Easter. All right, so on to my nine and a half year old son. Again, he's going to be getting a toothbrush and also one of these little chocolate bunnies. Again, his basket is a basket that we've had for a couple of years. So again, I'm reusing the basket. So this is everything that's in his. Again, I picked up the water pistol from Walmart for a dollar whenever we go on vacation my kids live in the pool so I know this is going to be a fun little toy for them to have when we go to the beach I saw this at the toy store and I decided to go ahead and pick it up for him it's one of those slingshot toys it comes with three foam balls and then the slingshot and I think he'll have fun playing with this it's a fun little toy for him to have for Easter his other treats, he has the boy version of the Kinder Surprise Egg and a small pack of the jelly beans. So my nine-year-old is into like Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. 
He doesn't actually watch the shows, but he likes to collect the figures and the toys. So I picked this character up from Dragon Ball Z at the pharmacy. It was pretty inexpensive. He's been wanting the Lex Luthor minifigure for a while. So I decided to go ahead and get it for him for Easter. He also asked for this for Christmas, um, the Fast and the Furious. He said the red car, which I got the Chevy Corvette 1966. I'm glad I waited to get this because it's normally $9 and I got it on sale at Walmart for 6 He actually picked this out at the toy store. So when he wasn't looking, I went ahead and bought it for him. And then I'm just going to throw it in his Easter basket. This will be a nice surprise. It's just a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Hot Wheels. I got this dinosaur diorama 3D puzzle set at Walmart last year in December. I thought I was going to give it to my four-year-old. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and give it to my nine-year-old instead. Again, I like to put books in my kids' Easter baskets. This is Goosebumps Deep Trouble by R.O. Stein. My kids absolutely are obsessed with the series on Netflix, so I think he's going to really enjoy this book. I saw these at Walmart and went ahead and picked it up because it was only a dollar. If they had more, I would have gotten more because these are excellent little Easter basket fillers. It's the Star Trek The Next Generation Kubros. It actually looks a lot like Legos. It comes with 157 pieces and those are all the characters that you can collect. The next item in his basket is a pop socket. I got him one because I got my daughter one and I just wanted to keep things fair since they're so close in age and they do like the same things. So I got him a Captain America pop socket for his cell phone. And then last but not least in his basket is a pair of sunglasses. Just something for him to have if we go to the park or to the beach and it's in his favorite color. Last but not least is my four-year-old preschooler. He is my easiest kid to shop for for any holiday because he just loves everything and anything. So this is everything that's going in his Easter basket. Again, for him, he will get one of these little chocolate bunnies. So because I decided to give the 3D puzzle to my 9-year-old, I went ahead and got my 4-year-old this 24 puzzle set. And it's Paw Patrol, which he absolutely loves. He is in desperate need of some new puzzles. And he's starting to really get into puzzles. So I think he's going to really like this. And this was really inexpensive. All right, so again, this is his basket. I'm reusing the same basket from previous years. Again, I have another one of these water squirters from Walmart. I think the kids are going to have a blast with these whenever we are able to head to a pool or to the beach. The other two snack type items in his basket are this pack of jelly beans and the boy Kinder Surprise. This is more than enough for him. I just don't want to go overboard on the treats. Next item are these super cute sandals I got from Walmart. These were on clearance for, I don't know, like $2. And at that price, I had to buy them. And they are so, so cute. Easy slip on, really good quality. I think he's gonna like these. Again, a book. He loves books. He loves when I read to him. I got him this Paw Patrol Pup Pack Power. I actually bought this back in December and I was going to give it to him before Christmas and decided to go ahead and just put it away for Easter. So he's getting two books for Easter this year. You can never have too many books. I actually got this book at the mall on Clarence. It's the Finding Dory Come Swim With Me. And I know he's going to love this because this book is really interactive. So yeah, this is going in his Easter basket as well. I saw this at the store for like a dollar and I decided to pick it up and stash it away for Easter. It's the Minions Play Pack Grab and Go. We've all heard of these. We've seen them all over YouTube. Comes with a little coloring book, a sheet of stickers, and four crayons. Perfect for travel at restaurants and for quiet time and he has been really loving minions lately so i know he's gonna really like this i believe he already does have marshall but i don't know it's in an egg thought it would be perfect for easter so 
He's getting this in his basket as well. He's getting this set of three lacing toys. I've been meaning to get him something like this for a while. Again, another perfect activity he can do at home for quiet time. And while he's doing this, he can practice on his hand-eye coordination and his fine motor skills. Here is his toothbrush. I went ahead and picked him up a slinky. And I don't want to miss this. Also going in my four-year-old's basket are a pair of sunglasses. I thought it would be neat for him to have a pair just like his brother and then they can wear them to the park or to the beach or wherever and I just got it in this blue color but it is so super cute. I think he's gonna like that. And then last item in his basket is this froggy loofah. I think he's gonna really like this as well. All right guys, that is everything that we're putting in the kids Easter baskets this year. I think I did really well trying not to go overboard and also trying to keep it as minimal as I could without taking all the fun out of it. Kids do enjoy it and it gives me joy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to get a few ideas. If you watched, thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.